All right. Something different. Something beautiful. Juxtapose. storytelling through a little bit of a loop of a hook that I, uh, that I wrote myself. Um, so the point is, is that as more of a story, it's not going to be. So just in case you think I'm trying to rap and I'm doing really badly, it's not, that's the point. <laughs> anyway, well, this story is called The Treasure. And it's ambiguous, and I hope that you guys find some kind of meaning within it. And unfortunately, I'm terribly unprofessional. I didn't get it memorized, so I will be reading it. And so it was, alone on a vacant road, past disfigured from what the signs hadn't told. The present was undeniable, but the future was lost. We serviced in the same city, but what was the cost? Things became unbalanced, the tensions fell firm, and we stood once again without a hook to bait the worm. We found ourselves searching for a treasure untold, with glory and riches and strength to behold. And so we were sold. Our bags were packed and a journey was planned. It was only the horizon that we hadn't yet scanned. This dirt road now became our home. It cooked us dry and ate to our bone. The sunsets painted the maroon grays as the sunrise, sunrise marked each brand new day. Our spirits were high and yet there was a sting in the air, an evil yet to be seen. A presence that we all shared, but we were armed to the teeth, but bare to the bone. Casting our sides where the light shone. We feared our night. We feared the night and the beast held within, clutching our flames to protect our own name. Days had passed and weeks went unknown, banded together but yet still all alone. For the creature we feared had yet to unveil, and that we spoke was the worst to entail. We fled and we fled, and we fled and we fled, frightened with blood yet to be shed, but honor we moved with a crushing sense of imminent fortune was the fuel that dispensed our bodies for it. Until at last the past had passed, and the treasure we sought to our sight was brought. As cheers were held in excitement of fame, but inside our minds were thoughts all the same. This treasure is mine, you greedy swine. I'll have it all so I can dine on fine wine. We waited in silence for the first to move, but none had the strength to simply behoove. Till one came forth and spoke from the side, a snake in his mouth and a glint in his eye. I'm afraid it's been long, but we've come to the end, and that which we sought I will be left to defend. Weapons were drawn, blood quickly fell, with me standing so this tale I could tell. For when my shaking hands opened this treasure at last, I found that the past was to remain the past, for it was barren and not even a stone. And now I was where I stood all alone. The fears we are shared of the beast in pursuit were empty as the box that now laid at my boot. For what chased us all was not of flesh at all, but pursued us indeed, and the time grew strong. In our minds we felt its breath and shivered at its call. And yet its sight stayed unseen as time's fragile dust, for there was no creature at all, only us.